Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Shohruh, a Flutter developer, and this is my first video in this channel. So today we're going to build this simple but cool button, uh, which has animation. As you can see, when you click on it, it goes down and up, down and up, something like this. So it's super easy. Now we're going to make this button. So let's slide this to the right and let's open up let me open up my code editor so here in my code editor uh, there is a main function which is entry point to our application and it has a state stateless widget uh, which has material app it has theme data it's just uh, it's not important here and here home uh, which has my home page widget in this widget, we're going to build everything. So it is just right here, as you can see. My home page, it's a stateful widget. And this stateful widget has nothing but just scaffold and container. So we are going to start coding from this point. So let's give, let, let me save this up first so that we have empty screen. Okay, let's give it a child first of text text let's write click me okay uh, we can make we can save this for now and as you can see here on the top oh it's a little bit unvisible let's center this widget we can wrap it with center and if we save it yeah here we have just text widget here which has container now we cannot see it because it doesn't it does not have color Let's give it a color first. Color of colors dot ember. I like this color. So here. Now we can see that we have a container with ember color and that has a text. So let's make the text a little bit bigger. Let's give it a style of text style. Uh, let's make the font size of probably 16 I think that this one should do it how about 18 okay let's make it 18 for now okay uh, we can give a padding mm, to make it a little bit bigger so let's give it a padding of symmetrical so that we can set uh, vertical and horizontal padding okay so vertical of probably 10 this this should do it and horizontal of 20 uh, it will be just longer and I think this would be okay now we have something but it's just uh, just square with just text so let's make let's make it a little bit beautiful with uh, border radius about decoration decoration box decoration of radius border radius let's give a border radius of circular circular i think 10 this should do it oh, by the way here if you want to set a decoration to a container you need to set the color inside that decoration otherwise you're going to get a an error so something like this now okay now we have this one a little bit prettier then just square okay let's separate it okay if we set this con as const i think yeah it will remove that warning okay now how how can we get this the the shadow at the bottom this is easy so you might think that uh, we can give a shadow to this container but no that's not what we are going to do we are going to use animated container widget uh, with just padding and color where is it wrap it with widget let's wrap it with animated container and animated container takes duration it's required duration of milliseconds 100 should do it so we can make it const okay 
Now uh, we have animated container with duration of 100 milliseconds. Every time we want to change anything inside this animated container, it, it, it is going to change it uh, between this duration from 0 till 100 milliseconds. OK, first let's give a decoration to this one too because we're going to set color and border radius for this one. Decoration of box. Decoration with color. Color, uh, so we want to have a, that shadow effect. That's why we're going to give the color of gray. Mm, and then, oops, gray. Uh, and border radius is going to be the same as the child container which is this one. So border radius of circular, it was 10, I believe. Okay, now you cannot see anything because it's just uh, the same height and width as the child container. So we're going to give the padding to this one so that we can get that shadow effect. Uh, let's make it const. No, no, we don't want to make it const because we want to change this. Uh, edge insets of we're going to give only bottom padding uh, oops bottom padding of probably six this should do it okay now as you can see uh, this is uh, two containers uh, the wrapping container is animated container and this is just a container okay now we don't have any click effect here how can we do it? So for that, we can just wrap this animated container with gesture detector. It has some cool functions we can use to get that, that effect. So gesture detector. And gesture detector has two uh, good, what is it, functions. On tap uh, down. Oops on tap down and up on tap on tap down is on tap down is when the user clicks this without releasing the mouse or when user just puts his finger on this button it will going to fire this function on tap down and on tap up is uh, on tap up is going to be fired when user removes his finger from the button or just removes his finger from the mouse okay here we can set state we can do anything we want here to animate this because we have an animated container we can animate uh, some uh, padding width height color and this kind of stuff using this set state. Uh, let's make this one set state as well. Okay. Now we have we don't have anything yet. Uh, so in order to get that shadow effect, animated shadow effect, we are going to remove the six and we are going to uh, assign it to this ver uh, variable called padding. Let's assign it here and we can play with, with that variable. Okay, this is padding. Uh, let's make it six. Okay, oops. Now this padding is assigned to this uh, animated containers padding here, as you can see. And if we, if we change this padding from uh, from from zero to anything it's going to change during or between zero and 100 milliseconds let's try it let's change the padding uh, when the user clicks down let's make it zero and let's see what we got okay if I tap this down that's it now it's going to go down but it's not going to come up because if we want that we need to fire this function as well on tap uh, on tap up so here we can uh, set the padding back to six again and if we save this now we have that function 
if I click on this, it's going to go down. If I release my finger from mouse, it's going to up, going up, down, down, up, down, up. As you can see, this is that button that I showed you uh, at the beginning of this video. So this is, uh, this is it guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is my first video and I hope I didn't make some uh, small mistakes. So anyway, if you liked the video, uh, consider subscribing to my channel and leave a comment uh, so that I can get your opinion about this video. And I'll try to make uh, some interesting videos uh, in the future. See you guys.